Uh, I kinda wish I recued into him actually. Can't wait. Uh, he mulliganed quite a few cards. I'm gonna be very greedy. This is a very, very greedy keep. But this is like, this is what you need against mid-range Paladin to beat mid-range. You know what's gimmicky? His wife. <laughs> Wait a little so you don't face that scumbag. No, I want I wanted to face that scumbag again. I want to show that scumbag what's up. He coined this out. Um, I probably don't want to drop Armorsmith actually, because I want to use Bouncing Blade. If he coined this out, hopefully he has another 2-drop, like second, uh, second shield bot, or juggler. Second shield bot. Nice. Value, see? Value Bouncing Blade. Nice. What other card does that? No cog hammer, please. Kibler's wife was uh, playing an attorney that Kibler hosted against uh, Eloise. Wow. Sounds like a good match. Um, yeah, he is probably holding on to muster. Like, he can muster now. But it's not that really, it's not really that strong against Belcher. And I'll probably just take the card draw. Sweet. So we play Emperor. Did you trade Brawl? Yeah, I did. At least on NA. I got the pack. I still have to do it on EU. That's the most value Bouncing Blade ever got against Paladin, no Kappa. Yeah. It's kind of a rare moment. I think there's a get down. There's always a get down. So how do I do this? I think I want to leave the slime up. The slime is a good target. So let's uh, use the, this to trick a get down. And then we'll finish off the... Yeah, Repentance is nice on this. And then we'll finish off the... Finish off the Belcher with Gorehell. Okay, it's not uh, it's not avenge. All right, does that change anything? I think we still hit here. We get another round of discounts. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna trade here. Trade. You know this is still kind of awkward. It's still at three health, so and it's kind of a high priority target. He needs to get rid of it. Either he needs to use four mana to equip true silver. He'd like to Doctor Boom here. But yeah, now he's to uh, spend his turn 7, like, kind of non-optimally. Trade here. Okay, hit here, here. And I think we'll, we'll... We'll just take the Harrison. I think that's probably good enough. Because we need to find some AoE. Like, we need revenge or something. Like, if this competitive spirit was screwed. Reno, that's good though. Avenge. One of these, please. Damn it. Never lucky. Okay, so he's got 12. He's got 15 damage. Uh, if we armor up, I guess we're okay. So these two will be good enough to trade here. Hopefully it doesn't have equality. Um, and then we Reno. 
We should have a decent answer. Like, assuming he may go face with some of the stuff. This might be get down. Okay. So I'm guessing it's get down. But it's not even gonna trigger because his board is too full. So I think here's what I'm gonna do. I have a crush to use on this. So crush costs three, and then we have Reno. So we hit here. It doesn't trigger the get down yet. If it's get down, then um Okay. Fine. Um Yeah, I guess I'll just hit here. Hit here, crush. Oh wait. And Reno. Hey Akatsu, how's it going? Why not hit slime with your slime? I guess it could have. It's a it's a minor point, I think. That's not that wasn't a big deal. Well met. Maybe I should trade in Belcher. Then he can't pop the Death Lord so easily, but it's fine. Like Dr. Boone should be able to trade with whatever it comes out of that. And nice. Keeper Oldman, very good. Pretty good top deck. Uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We got just card too. So both Avengers are gone. Probably a Noble Sack. So predictable. Kill it. Nice. we we'll kill this. I think I want to get Jessica down. How much? You're doing great, thanks for asking, how about you? I'm doing pretty well too, we had, I had some uh, nice home-cooked hot pot with my roommates tonight. Basically just bought all the ingredients and we had hot pot. Um, we don't actually have like a hot pot cooker thing, so we just have to do it on the stove and just like do do multiple rounds, like cook, cook some stuff first and then, yeah. So basically he's just depending on Tyrion now, Tyrion to save the game. Um, trade here. I don't know what he's holding on to though. That's awesome, you made it yourselves? Yeah, we actually, but the broth itself is from a uh, little mong... What's it called? Little Mongolian hot pot? Xiaofeiyang actually stands for like little fat sheep. That's a little translation of it. But yeah, that's where we got it from. Our draw Grom Grom. Cool, we have Grom combo, so we save that. What's hot pot? Is that where you have hot water and you make food as you go? Yeah, kind of. Basically. A hot pot place, it's not just water, it's like a it's like a nice rich broth. It could be very spicy too. And you get raw ingredients, you get raw meat, raw tofu, raw fish balls, like, those are pretty typical. Oh, that's what he's holding on to, Blessing of Kings. Hey, I creep. thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Loch Ness Monsters. Fish balls. That's that's what it's called, right? You you one, like you use fish and one. It's like kind of like a 
the shape, I think. 